We are being live streamed now on Facebook so that if you like this presentation that you can refer others to it. I really appreciate people passing around the information that I do have. Um, I've kind of uh, lost track of numbers, but I know I have all, over 55 hours of information that you could share with other people. And they are very specific to uh, a particular topic. So, you know, if you know somebody that has, you know, joint pain, there is a uh, Facebook uh, program on joint pain. And so that might be an easy way to uh, get involved with other people and share information about frequencies. Um, frequencies have been around forever, obviously, <laughs> since the start of time. We, you know, God spoke us into existence is one way to say that. And so uh, we have worked with frequencies, but so much of that has been hidden. So I think that anybody that likes frequencies is really on the cutting edge and they're learning more and more. And you can share so much by just letting people know that there's a tool out here called the Wave Watch that has frequencies on it for you to use. So the whole concept is acoustical frequencies. Don't forget that. That's really important. And then my other comment would be that the medical community is agreeing with this you may not realize it you know but our uh ekgs our ultrasounds our uh, you know the list goes on and on all of those use sound frequencies now they're not acoustical necessarily but they are sound frequencies so uh during my stay in the hospital i mentioned earlier that my husband is out now and uh he's doing well but he was introducing the wave watch all day long to everybody that worked in the hospital and it was really amazing and fun to meet people that were open to frequencies that did know that they used frequencies and then it was extra exciting to meet people that were uh, like-minded and liked <laughs> this and shared more information with us. So that's probably enough that I don't want to, you know, take up too much of your time. But again, thank you for your prayers for my husband, Carl, also. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm assuming everybody's hearing me, so I'll share my screen. And I'm going to be talking about the immune system today. <clears throat> So many buttons to press here. I'm sorry, I'm not super organized on this. Okay, we want to talk about biohacking your system, your immune system. We can do that with frequencies. And another way to say it is biohacking. I think that's kind of a neat way uh, to let you know that you can work with frequencies. And of course, so many of you on this program already know that. So just a, a little bit more background. Uh, basically, this is all following the laws of vibration. And uh, uh, somebody was texting me <laughs> and saying their code wasn't any good. So I'm not really for sure what's going on there. But anyway, to continue, uh, the law of vibration says basically everything in the universe vibrates. Everything vibrates. And so that's no news to most of you. So everything's in a state of movement. And I think what we've missed out on is just the idea that um, we should be using this vibration for our own body support. So quantum physics basically has proved that everything has a vibration and that it's 99.9999% uh, energy is what our bodies are. And we're only a small, tiny smidgen of matter. So up until this time, we have really focused so much of our, um, if you want to say energy, we've focused so, so much of our energy on our physical side when we could be focusing it more on our energetic side. So they may have done that 
in ancient civilizations. And I think as time goes by and I learn more and more about energy, I am so fascinated about what some of our ancient civilizations might have come up with and been far surpassed uh, our civilization on what they were able to do with energy. I mean, after all, have you seen the ones on how they've maybe moved the, the rocks with the pyramid, the stones with the pyramids with sound? So hopefully you're uh, interested in some of that. I am just trying to learn and learn and learn. But basically, I like Dr. Mitchell Gaynor. He is a uh, oncology uh, director. He has passed away, but he wrote the sounds of healing, I believe. And he said that sound, because it can be heard not only through our ears, but every cell in our body. And so it does heal on a physical level and it helps us on emotional and spiritual level. So it can address all kinds of imbalances and possibly in virtually any medical disorder. Now, I can't go that far because what I've seen from the Wave Watch is probably a 70% uh, improvement. And somewhere where else somebody has said that, uh, possible 70% improvement using sound therapy. So of course, I do have people that have the Wave Watch and don't think that they've you know improved any. I don't know. It's not 100% perfect. Nothing is. So don't want to make it sound like it's just a miracle thing when, you know, it is part of nature. And um, again, we need to look at what ancient people did. They discovered the sounds by applying it, by feeling it, by their intuition, by praying, by chanting. This is a whole book on chanting. I just love the little, the picture of the little gal. Uh, so we need today, we need to learn to appeal, apply, to feel, and to use our intuition. And again, I'm not trying to insult anybody. I should be saying we need to be praying more. That is exactly what it is. So lots of different ways to say that we need to reach out. We need to feel what's in us. So the Wave Watch is uh, using hundreds of sound frequencies. There's no cords, there's no messy wires or patches, and there's no um, internet connectivity, and that is so, so important. Um, I think that people have had a hard time realizing that there's no internet connectivity. They're, they're going, what, what, what? Because they're wearing around I'm sorry, they're wearing around other tools on their wrists that are connected to the internet, not even realizing how bad they are for our bodies, that they are not a natural frequency, that they are irritating so much to our, our, our bodies. Um, you know, I don't know if some of you know, um, probably 10 years ago, I read that they were going to be expanding uh, the teaching with uh, doctors uh, for working with brain cancer, a thousand percent. That, it, that you know, figure sticks with me. I can't quote where I read that now, but I can let you know that a long time ago, 10 years, that's a long time, that they realized that our cell phones up to our ears were going to be causing something. And their answer was to get more doctors uh, in the teaching field and the medical field working with that particular area. The yeah. response wasn't to warn us that our cell phones up to our ear all day long would be harmful, but to start working more medically with that. So it's our responsibility, in my opinion, to learn and to try to keep these away from our ears, you know, to have ourselves protected as much as we can. So I could go on and on about this, and I do. I have several programs on uh, the internet or working with uh, other types of frequencies that are negative. Um, there's no monthly fee for this. Uh, it's all inclusive. Remember, you don't have to hear to get a benefit from uh, the Wave Watch or from frequencies because every cell in your body absorbs it. And that was so important to me because, because I'm completely deaf in one ear. And uh, so I was just thrilled to learn this. Oh, I don't need to hear it because if think how many people that you do know as we age, some people are having a harder and harder time with hearing. So it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And it's very cost effective self care. Hopefully, everybody thinks that because there are some expensive tools out there. And I try to make this very much uh, cost effective for people. So 
when I finally get down to business here, the immune support frequencies are in that category. They are in the chronic and they are the, uh, the very first icon that you might see on the watch. And so we have fatigue, general body support, immune complex diseases, immune system diseases, immune system stabil stabilization, <laughs> immune system stimulation. We have inflammation, pain, and trauma, and I highlighted that so I'd remember to tell you how important that was also. Pain, sepsis, systemic support, and then one of my favorites is the vagus nerve. So those are very specific to immune systems. And this is something I, that I think that we could all play just in general, you know, play it once a week or play it if you don't know what else to play. Then if you have already been admitted uh, or, you know, diagnosed with um, some kind of an immune uh, autoimmune problem or immune uh, deficiency, then uh, make sure that you are playing the specific organ system that coordinates with that. So it's skin. There's so many skin autoimmune diseases. Of course, pancreas and diabetes is, the lymphs are, and the list goes on and on because there's over 80 autoimmune diseases and many other diseases that are connected with genetic problems. So it's a huge topic today. I can't even begin to touch it. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not going to be telling you about all those things, but what could we do to work with it? And the way watches one of those ideas. So they really don't know how many people are struggling with immune system problems, but I think in our day and age, and I know most of you are going to back me up on this, but um, who doesn't have an immune system problem with all of the toxins that we've had that break us down, uh, the poor food, you know, and the list goes on and on. So according to a website called Self, S-E-L-F, they say at least 7 million people are uh, compromised immune centers. And this was from the uh, CDC said this. So how can that figure be so large, but to me so small? I'm surprised it's just 7 million because we're talking about all of these organ systems that are in the immune system. We are talking about adenoids, tonsils. Um, we're talking about, um, there we go. Uh, our lymph nodes, the thymus, we're talking about the spleen, lymphatic vessels again, Hires patches, our appendix and bone marrow. And just think of how many of us have um, surgeries and have half of these taken out. <laughs> you know, we've got our appendixes removed, we've got our tonsils out, we've got our adenoids out. Um, <laughs> You know, all kinds of lymph nodes are taken out. So to me, it's very hard to say that only 7 million people would have autoimmune problems. But this is part of the immune, or this is the, the best uh, diagram that I could find of the immune system that just kind of lists them. But there are um, so many indications when something is going wrong with your system. Uh, and a great starting point on the Wave Watch is to start playing the immune system problems. Um, Pyre's patches are something that a lot of us haven't heard of. So these are lymphatic tissue, and we may not have heard them called anything else, just lymphatic tissue being lumped together. And I thought I should kind of pull that out just a little bit to make sure that I could even explain it too. But these are uh, lymphatic tissue that are more in the small intestine and they help with uh, bacteria overgrowth and preventing uh, bacteria in the intestines. So that's a huge one that, you know, so many people have trouble with autoimmune systems and bacteria uh, type problems. So that is, is what the Pyres patches are that were mentioned in this particular idea right here, okay? So they're lymph nodes, an aggregate of lymph nodes. And then another idea about the uh, lymph node or the, excuse me, the uh, white blood cells, thought I should, uh, you know, just make sure that we had gone through this. I don't use these words very often. Uh, 
But these are some words that you will see and hear if you're looking, you know, deeper and deeper and uh, getting some ideas about your immune system. Of course, we all talk about the white blood cells, you know, so they're traveling inside the lymph system and they're, um, you know, connected with the bloodstream. So we have different types of blood cells that are part of our immune system. So we have the neutrophils. And I just love this. It was so easy. I, I, I'm reading it <laughs> for you. So these, the neutrophils are going to engulf and destroy. Don't you like that? That's an easy one. The macrophages also engulf and destroy. Uh, the eosinophils are parasitic destroyers more. Again, these are just types of white blood cells. And this is why our white blood cells are so important because when our body loses that ability to make white blood cells, we have all of these problems. So we have basophils that release histamine. And uh, without these, we've got all kinds of problems or with these either way. You know, sometimes it goes one way, sometimes it goes the other way. We have uh, lymphocytes that attack specific pathogens again. And then we have plasma cells to produce the antibodies. So that's a little bit different idea and a little bit more in depth on the white blood cells and what each one of those can be doing for us or, or their role inside the body. So very important for us to be able to keep these white blood cells going. Another yeah. thing that I wanted to point out is that immune system, uh, system deficiencies can be temporary. You know, uh, if we work on them and hit things just right, they might be temporary, but they can also go into permanent stature in our body. But normally when you're talking about a temporary immune deficiency, we're talking about an overload of infection, something that is really suppressing the immune system. And, um, uh, so when these immune cells, any of these immune cells that I listed before are targeted, we can get a severe immune suppression and a huge bacterial or parasitic uh, viral, you know, the list goes on, all kinds of pathogen uh, problem, problems with this type of immune breakdown. <clears throat> so what I would suggest on the wave watch is that you play through the germ folders. Uh, there's very specific. Um, they have many ideas and it will take you hours to play through these. But bacteria, there's many in that particular folder. You can play through the candida molds and fungus folder. You can play through the parasite folder. <laughs> you can play through the virus folder. And then when you get to the end of these, I'm not sure if everybody has seen these, but on the column on the uh, right-hand side, I also have some specifics for viral complex, a general idea, and then antiseptic one, antiseptic two, infection, and sepsis. So those are not, quote unquote, inside the specific germ folders. They are still in the germ folder, but not inside a specific idea like bacteria there at the end of it. And you might want to find those once in a while and play through those also. Now, I see we have several new people on today. And just to go through the idea again, if it does say general one, general two, or number one, number two, number three, number four, something like that, basically what that is saying is there are so many frequencies that have been measured that there is just a different set. They are still for the same idea. It's not going to hurt you to play more than one of those ideas. And I think sometimes maybe I hit it too hard, but it's kind of like listening to Elvis and then also listening to an Elvis impersonator. They're the same. They sound the same. You may react differently to them. Maybe you like the Elvis, the real Elvis, better than you like the impersonator. But some people react more to the newer person. You, you never know. You know, so they're just different frequency sets for the same problem. And my suggestion would be if you know that you are feeling something when it plays, try to activate your watch by just touching it for one second on the lower button 
and it will light up again. Remember, it's gone to sleep to conserve energy. And so when it lights up, the clock will come on and you swipe across the screen and then you will be able to see what is playing. So if you are feeling something, if you feel it go up your arm, if you feel like, you know, some streaks through here, something going on, everybody's a little bit different. Then when that is happening, that particular folder might be a great one to remember and to play longer, to loop it. And if you haven't found that idea, you're just going to go to your home screen where the frequencies are in the lower left corner. So you'll make sure that you look in your booklet and understand that. So you can loop it all night long if you want. And that's exactly what I have done several times for different things. So um, again, if you feel something, that's a good one to do. Now, just to explain this one just a little bit more, oops, I jumped. Um, I also have a folder and it is located in the germs and virus. Remember, I developed this idea over two years ago <laughs> And uh, I probably should have put this particular one I, and just called it immune support and put it right directly into the immune support folder. But I did not think about doing that. So I developed this during our COVID-19 crisis, and I wanted to make sure that viral immune support was available for people. And so it is a combination of frequencies that are for vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and iodine. So if you happen to, you know, put together a favorite list, I hope you have the viral immune support in there because that's exactly what it is. It is not in, quote unquote, again, I'm repeating, it's not in, in immune support, it is in viral immune support in germs and viruses. But these are really good for immune support. And here's why. <clears throat> Vitamin C contributes to the immune defense. This is from PubMed, you know. Uh, vitamin D interacts with immune cells. This is just a real quick version, but just, you know, just to let you know, these are really strong ideas for uh, immune system. So um, it affects the genes that regulate inflammation and alter the response of the immune system. And that's why the frequency set um, inflammation, pain, and trauma is the very first one on the watch. And that's why I extremely like that one. If you don't know what to play, start with immune, um, excuse me, start with the chronic folder and then open it up, first one, inflammation, pain, and trauma. So that's where I got some of that because of the importance of inflammation. Everything today is about inflammation and our body's reaction to it. Now, another idea is the zinc. It's important during the activation and function of the immune cells and specific immune responses to bacteria, parasites, and viruses. So when your immune system is going crazy, don't you think you need some zinc, okay? And then the last idea that I have in there, again, it's the frequencies for these. And it's widely accepted that iodine exerts important actions on the immune system. So we are working with frequencies. I know I have this written on some slide and it's not gonna hurt to repeat it, but I think it's so important to remind you that when we absorb a wave and vibration, that's what the Wave Watch is called, waves and vibrations. When we absorb a wave, through our body, they say that it actually goes through our body at 4.3 times the speed of sound. So you don't have to be carrying around a bottle of iodine when you get sick or a bottle of zinc necessarily. I'm not telling you not to take those. I'm just saying that you have something easily that you can touch a button and you will be actually um, absorbing frequencies for those immune support ideas for vitamin C. I mean, do, do we really carry around bottles of stuff all the time? You know, now we might be able to go outside. The vitamin D would be the one that, you know, we're not necessarily carrying a bottle around for it, but the others, they're very hard to uh, get anymore in our food supply very easily. So 
with the wave watch having these on them they're going to travel through your body very very quickly and in contrast um i'm gonna you know i'm gonna say it supplements and herbs but prescriptions that's the one that they have documented the most prescriptions they all have frequencies also, but they're a little bit different kind. They're not a, a wave and vibration exactly like these particular ones are. They are a vibration, but they travel through your system at one foot a second. Now, isn't that kind of interesting? One foot a second. And that makes them so slow that your body heat burns these ideas up, basically. And that's why we have to keep taking our... Um, prescriptions every day because they're only two percent absorbed that's why we have to take, keep taking supplements every day and i think you should i'm not saying you shouldn't i'm just saying that's why we have to keep taking them and keep taking them and they do some things that waves and vibrations can't do i am not saying that at all i'm just saying and telling you the difference on how they're absorbed so waves and vibrations are absorbed a hundred percent because they're zip 4.3 times the speed of sound through your body and the, and other ideas with a frequency still a different type of frequency are much slower one foot a second through your body absorbed two percent only so that was a little bit of maybe of a <laughs> rant there but i think that we should have known this by now and i didn't know it i was working with vibrations for a while and had never heard those ideas until i started digging deeper and deeper so that's my uh model out here is to hopefully give you a few more ideas so that we can be more proficient in taking care of ourselves so if you have a primary deficiency, immunodeficiency. Let's see, I've got some more people here. You are going to be having some particular ideas. So the weakened immune system is going to give you more problems with recurring pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus, ear infections, meningitis, and skin infections. You're going to have inflammation and infection of your internal organs. So that's why I'm reading this. It's really important. That word inflammation comes up again and infection. So that's why that uh, immune support, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and iodine is so important. You're going to have uh, blood disorders such as low platelet count or anemia. And uh, this version of the Wave Watch does not have anything for low platelet count on it. So I'm not saying uh, that I'm uh, not, I'm, I, you know, you're always going to work on something. So I am working on, you know, some some uh, uh, updates, but it, it could be months, you know, so don't worry about it. But uh, just to let you know that when I see a, a, a spot that I haven't covered, that it can be covered because it's frequencies. We can add them. And again, it will, will be as simple as purchasing, purchasing a new TF card and just updating this little TF card that's right in here. But it's not ready. Don't worry about it. Okay. And some people say, oh, Linda, don't even tell anybody that you're going to do anything. I'm sorry. I'm up front. Just don't worry about it. It will be announced, but it will cover some ideas with the anemia and the low platelet count and other things that I might have seen that I missed. Okay. So I'm covering digestive problems. There is such a huge problem with a, a, our immune system when we're having so many troubles with our digestive system. And you see that over and over and over again. And sometimes I think that we have more digestive problems and then I look around, I'm going, well, maybe not, maybe it's thyroid. You know, the list just changes all the time. Um, delayed growth and development. I don't have any specific uh, feedback on that, but in smaller children, we are going to be seeing some of that uh, if their immune system is not correct. And then autoimmune disorders are going to pop up, such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes. That one does not pop up. Usually that is more a genetic type thing, something that you're born with. But there are 
over 80 autoimmune disorders. So our body just starts to go crazy and they're naming more and more of those. So we have to really learn to take care of our immune system. And so I'm pulling out the stops here. I'm trying to give you some ideas on what we could do for our immune system. So this is kind of what I've been saying, that autoimmune diseases, there's more than 80 kinds of them. And when we say autoimmunity, or it's, it can be organ specific, or it can be systemic, you know, so it goes both ways. So um, type one diabetes is caused by immune cells, not, wrecking, in, not recognizing insulin correctly. And this usually starts at a young age. It doesn't usually happen as we get older. That's type two diabetes that we uh, have a little bit more control over. Uh, we have lupus. Uh, we can see that happening a lot with people. Now, I thought I had lupus about 25 years ago before I had even started into the um, alternative natural uh, community. I was still teaching school and I had all of the symptoms of lupus. I had the rash on my face. My shoulder had frozen yeah. up. I'm not sure if I remember all of the symptoms now when I looked at those. And I looked up something on the internet even then. And I took heavy doses of vitamin E. And it went away. Now, I'm not saying that it was diagnosed uh, medically as that particular problem. But... I took the time to find something to do. And of course, there are negatives and positives about that. Some people say the internet is really bad because we're trying to work with our own uh, bodies. Wow, that's what I want, you know. But we have to be careful, you know. And so I did take heavy doses of, of vitamin E. I think, seriously, I think it was 3,200 a day instead of the 400 that's recommended. And uh, all of my symptoms went away and I had been down for quite a while. So uh, I encourage people to, to educate themselves and to use common sense to look for more ideas on the, some of these autoimmune diseases. So that's how we got to the Wave Watch. That's why I developed it. It's like, hey, we don't have to think as much. These frequencies are here. They've been measured for over 100 years. This is kind of a Tesla idea that segued into Rife. And there's, there might have been somebody before Tesla. So, you know, frequencies have been around, obviously, since ancient times. But we're getting more and more into them. So these ideas are definitely for autoimmune diseases. Now, there's so many of them, I couldn't even begin to cover them or touch them today. Uh, there's uh, because they because there are so many of them. But uh, wanted to let you know that these are some early signs of any type of an autoimmune disease. And uh, my source was from healthline.com. And so you can see there, and let's look at these just pretty quickly. Um, fatigue, achy muscles, swelling and redness, low-grade fever, trouble concentrating, numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, hair loss, and skin rashes. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to have every single one of them or that you might not have something else. But if you're starting to have some of these ideas, definitely get yourself scheduled to learn more about it. Visit your doctor, visit your homeopathic, you know, physician, whatever. Make sure that you reach out and learn a little bit more about your body. But you already have a tool start playing the immune system category and um, start working on that right away. It might not be exactly what you're gonna, what the possibility of diagnosis is, I don't know when there's 80 different ideas, but you have a tool that can be helpful for your immune system. And you can share this tool. It's so, so important to know 
that it is available and that we have some coverage for that. But I want you to, you know, if you don't learn anything today, look at all of these symptoms. And I've had lots of people complaining about these very symptoms in the last couple of years. <laughs> Now, I don't know if something's got worse or uh, if our health or if our uh, emotions change things, you know, but these symptoms are pretty, uh, you know, across the board with a lot of uh, people. Um, I don't think I've seen um, maybe the people talk about concentration a little bit. We are all worried about that as we age. And so that one is a really hard one to jump in there. But if you've got some of these other ideas, make sure that you are playing this immune system um, setting several times. And then if you know that you have trouble with an autoimmune disease already that has been diagnosed, dig deeper, go very specific and you know play something for diabetes, play something for uh, your lymph nodes, uh, and the list goes on and on. See what you can find to do that with. Um, just wanted to mention this one also. So got one more idea. Um, cancer cells are caused by the uncontrolled growth of immune cells, some forms, not all forms. So leukemia is a problem with the white blood cells. So there's another reason to play that. Lymphoma is problems with the lymphocytes, and we have that in the lymph node section. Melanoma, excuse me, myeloma, excuse me, I said the wrong one. Myeloma is caused by plasma cell problems. I do not think I have anything for that specifically. And then unrestricted growth of any of these cell types are going to cause cancer. So what I do have the closest, and I do not know, uh, I cannot say if this will work, but the pathogen folder is what I put together for some different types of cancer. So I'm not saying that the Weight Watch is a cancer product. We don't want to go there. There is a folder labeled pathogens. And I've done a whole workshop, an hour talking about it previously, the different types of uh, pathogens that are known to cause cancer. So that is a uh, possibility there. But make sure that you are protecting yourself in some way. Now, other Wave Watch ideas would, to me, are the detox. The detox is so important. We are not detoxing ourselves as much as we should be. And we are obviously exposed to everything all day long. The list goes on and on and on. Um, I do not have this particular um, testimony, but it's an amazing one. And I'm not sure if Michelle ever wrote it down, but I am on the Michelle Moore show. And she has told me that um, she has a, a foot bath, a detox foot bath, and she's had it for years. And I'm not sure of how many of you know about detox foot baths, but when you put your feet in the water and it, it does its, you know, goes through its system for about 30 minutes, when you pull your, you know, your feet out, usually that water is unbelievably dirty. And of course, the uh, negative aspect of that is that, you know, we're going to be told, oh, it's dirty with anybody. The water's bad with anybody. There's, you know, da, 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 da. But it is huge because Many people have additional things besides brown water. So Michelle had been using this for years and her water was always brown and nasty looking. And after she started using the Wave Watch, she said her water is now really, really clear. She can see through it and it's completely different than it was when she did not have the Wave Watch. And I wish I would have you know, thought I didn't have a lot of time to prepare this uh, particular uh, little workshop Zoom call, but I wish I would have gotten her written version of that. But you can see it on her show. So if you haven't seen Michelle Moore, she's on Rumble. She's on the PPN site also. She's got a lot of ideas and she reads some of the testimonies from the Wave Watch too. So again, play the detox folders, they are super, super important. And just another kickback idea, when I use the uh, foot bath, there's different brands of them. 
uh, when I had different clients, I actually had an older lady that was having trouble with blood clots. And when she got done with her foot bath, her water looked like red jello. It was thick and gummy and it was red. Okay. And then another example, I had a person uh, whose water was just really, really dirty. And when I started pouring the water out, he was looking over my shoulder <laughs> and there was something in the bottom of that water and kind of like a little flat pea. It was pea size, but it was flat. And I had gloves on it. I just kind of picked it up and we, you know, turned it over and he's behind me going, oh my gosh, he said it a little differently, but it was, it looked like flecks of gold. It was a gold nugget, basically, a flat gold nugget. And what he did was spray paint automobiles with gold. That was his major job. And he did. He said he didn't wear things on his, uh, you know, cover up all of his skin all the time. And here is a gold, you know, a gold nugget <laughs> that came out of his foot bath. So please do not let people talk you out of using something because you do, they don't think that it has any scientific merit sometimes. This was a huge tool in my business. But then I developed the Wave Watch and maybe we don't need to use it as much. But if you have one, continue to use it, maybe compare it. Maybe somebody has a few more testimonies on that idea. Um, just a quick couple of ideas here, but I thought both of these were interesting. Uh, I didn't mention negative emotions. So of course, we, we talked about that so much. Make sure that you're playing uh, emotions if you have immune system problems. Make sure that you try to get as physical as you can, that you're not drinking, that you're sleeping as good as you can. You're staying away from smoking or secondhand smoke. Uh, try to get out in the sun. So, you know, these are just pictures of those ideas. Um, don't use toxic makeup. We have those in abundance in our uh, society, don't we? Make sure you're drinking water and don't overuse antibiotics. But this was so important. I wanted to show you one more idea. This is a different one. And I thought they had a couple more ideas that looked really worth sharing with you. Uh, build your social network. We need to be talking to people. We don't need to be six feet apart. We don't need to be separated. Make sure our immune system goes down when we don't have contact with people. I don't think I need to elaborate any more on that. Most of you know where I'm going with that. Wow. Okay. But I didn't know it was on a chart, so I had to show it to you. Okay. And then another one, have a laugh. Whoops, have a laugh. That's why we need that social network because we're not laughing. We're just sitting home being blah. We're just watching TV. We're hearing the, you know, different things that sometimes make our system lower. And, you know, the list goes on and on. So huge. And how could I miss this one? I got to say, have sex. <laughs> it actually said this. So make sure that you are uh, enjoying life. Maybe that's a good way to say it. And everybody can't do that. But I just thought it was interesting that this poster had this. Stay positive. Stay positive. We have not been doing that. We have not been staying positive as we should or as should. I mean, we've had two and a half years of hell. Well, we're like, guys, but it's the truth, you know, so people are coming out of it. And here is a chart to me that just, you know, jumped out. Oh, my goodness. Such a great chart. And then the last one, find a furry friend. So if you are not able to get out, if you're, you know, your network has, has slimmed down, some people have lost part of their network uh, in our two and a half year problem or three year problem, however long we're going to say and some of their network is not um, available or, uh, you know, I'm going to cry, gone completely, uh, get yourself a furry friend. Make sure that you are keeping up with life to keep you pepped up. So I think I've wound down a little bit. I've gone through some of these things already, but I just wanted to reiterate about the Wave Watch. 
the frequencies travel through your body quickly. You can travel anywhere with the wave watch, except in water. Come on now, people. Don't take a shower. Don't go out on the boat with water. You know, uh, it can't be wet because just the way that the model is made, there's an open speaker that has to be part of the component of it so that your body absorbs these frequencies. So it can't be wet. It can be shared with others. And it can even be shared with dogs and cats. Uh, somebody sent me a picture of a duck. If you haven't seen that one, go back and look for it. I posted the picture of the duck. Um, and somebody uses it for their horses. So you can share it with others. Don't forget, you can even have be wearing it and you're holding your pet who is anxious. And you're wearing it for anxiety. And you're going to share it back and forth. So different ways to share it. You can take it off and physically put it on your grandchild, or you can snuggle up to your husband at night or your spouse at night, and they'll feel your frequencies too. I have several testimonies on that. Different ways to share besides just putting it on somebody's wrist. Uh, it might save you carrying a variety of supplements on trips. Have such a hard time. I'm a supplement person. I always have been. And you know, when you travel, what do you take? You know, and so now I don't worry about it. You know, uh, I do have a carrying case of essential oils, and it's getting littler and littler, but I want to take something along. And now I have the wave watch, and then I can carry less. And then it does have a wide variety of frequencies for many problems. And that's what you need because you don't know that you're not going to be traveling and, um, you know, something happens and, uh, you know, you cut yourself, you've got a big scrape, uh, you bruise yourself. There's, you know, frequencies for bruises. The list goes on and on. So uh, it is good to have along in case you have any surprises that you might need a tool to work with while you're traveling. I know I have talked. That's what I do all the time. But I'm going to stop sharing and invite you to uh, come on board and give me some information. And I see that I didn't really have the screen set up to answer any questions. So uh, now uh, hop on board, wave, give me your name. Do you have a testimony or a question? Okay, if someone has a TENS unit implanted in their bodies, do the frequencies interfere with that device? Uh, the simplest answer for anything like that on a pacemaker is that the wave watch is acoustical frequencies. It is a song. Just think of it as a song. So the person who has an implant of any kind, if they have been told that they can't listen to music, that they can't listen to their spouse talking, that they can't listen to TV, then no, you can wear a wave watch. But raise your hand if you've heard of anybody that has been told that they can't listen to music when they have any kind of a pacemaker or an implant of any kind. Okay, I hope that's the simplest reason, the, the best way to say it. And I sometimes like when somebody asks me that question, I kind of like to say, hey, can you talk to your spouse? If you can, you can wear the wave watch. Same type of frequencies. All right. I don't know if I've got any other Linda, questions here. Yes. Linda, yes. Um, I would like to know uh, if there's any program or where I would go for balance. I'm uh, seven, there is, seven there, years there, old and I've, I've, I've had some falls and I, I would like to, um, I haven't found anything on there for balance. It is in self-care and it is under dizziness or vertigo, excuse me, vertigo. So okay, I don't towards... have vertigo. I know I don't have vertigo. It's There's also about... dizziness. But one, uh, one is labeled dizziness in that folder. Okay. That's where it's at. How's that one? Okay. Um, thank you. Uh-huh. And then someone says when we play the folder and you don't need one of them like nicotine. And I don't know if you, you know, have thought about that, but we're around, you know, secondhand smoke. Even if we don't smoke, you know, we can go into somebody else's house that smoked or like I was looking for a house to buy. And, you know, they said there were smokers in there or whatever. I couldn't smell the smoke, but there is going to be some uh, chemicals in there because there are 7,000 chemicals from, smoking <laughs> from our nicotine products. So I think you should go ahead and play everything in the detox folder. 
Okay. Hi, All right. Yes. Hey, I'm curious to know in the immune system, like maybe a little bit more description of each one, like um, immune system stimulation. Does it, is it stimulating something specifically? I'm just looking for specifics. Like if I were to choose different ones in that area, which one I might choose first or second? I would go through all of them again. Okay. And I do not know the differences in them when they were measured in uh, the time of rife and some of them Tesla again, but mostly rife that that is how they designated them. And they are just different frequencies. So of course you want your immune system stimulated. You want it um, stabilized, you know? So I, on that, I don't think I would make any picks. I would play through all of them. And then I would pay attention to see if one of them talked to my body more than the other. And if okay. you felt something, then that's the one. But you don't know until you play all of them, okay? So and that's kind of a good testing thing. Play all of them. And if you react, that's the one. Or... If you know how to muscle test, then you can thin it out that way if you prefer. Okay. And the general body support, truly what it says, it's just completely general. So you don't really yes. know where it's. Right. Yeah. And so if you want something specific, then you go to the organ system itself, you know. So okay. thank you so much. Yeah. Other questions? It's fun doing this today. I don't know if you could tell I was just really rattling off, but uh, it's been two weeks since I've done it and or, you know, got to talk to everybody. So thank you for coming on today. Hey, Linda. Um, can I make a quick, I'm uh, Becky, and uh, I just wanted to say you're asking, hi, you're asking uh, if we had any testimonials. Um, I have a condition called psoriasis, which is an autoimmune issue over my whole body. And I started using the wave watch frequencies for that and it all smoothed out. So that was super, super cool. It's a terrible, um, skin disorder and it's so nice to have some relief, um, and not have to, uh, one of the reasons I have it is my liver doesn't deal well with chemicals and this isn't adding any chemicals into my body. Whereas everything else people want me to try for psoriasis is adding, like drugs and creams and things into my body. And my liver goes, no, no, stop. I don't want it. And then the second thing I wanted to say is, you know how you were telling us we needed to notice what reactions we're having. When I play the Bach emotions, I there's a time that I feel out of sorts every single time. And when I turn, you know, look to see what it is, it always says, sadness which oh that makes I'm like oh poor poor baby Becky she's got sadness but why is that the one I always notice sadness does that mean I need it more uh it is it irritating me like I have no idea it feels like it's irritating me but maybe that means I need it I do not know you know on an emotion when you kind of feel something you know so um very great. So can you share, did you just play the psoriasis frequencies or did you go through the whole immune support too? Oh, I, I did the whole immune support as well. Um, I put the psoriasis ones on my playlist. Um, I also put some that were specific for the liver because I know um, my skin tries to filter what my liver can't filter. And so I wanted to give my liver some support. Um, and so, yeah, those are the ones that I've been playing, um, and a lot of the detox because I just, uh, I don't deal well with toxins. A lot of, I mean, most people don't deal well with toxins, but my body is like, I won't deal with toxins. <laughs> and so, but they're oh, still in yeah. there. So, so this has been a really good way for me to detox, um, without adding new toxins in, which has been like the struggle of my life. Like what, can, if I take a supplement, then I have to deal with, is my body going to see it as a toxin or not? I don't know, but a frequency, it never does say, see that as a toxin. So yay. Yay. Thanks, there Linda. You go. Wow. Okay. I had another question. I need to replace my battery. Uh, you just give my, um, I have a, um, uh, customer service. And that number is 401. Let me see if I can type it here. And he will help you with that battery replacement. Uh, 
Okay. Linda, I have a question. All right. Um, um, it's a technical question. So sometimes I want to go and see which um, program I'm on and it stops. So what's the trick on, um, you know, I, I, or sometimes I, I know that the, when it's going, you see the clock and you just have to, but meaning, so sometimes it actually stops. I'm like, well, that was fast. Did that already go through the whole folder? So I'm not maybe so sh sure. Several different possibilities. Uh, when you are trying to activate it, it's only a second to touch it, you know, and if you touch it 1.11 second or, you know, mm. something like that it's going to shut itself off rather than activate so that you can see the screen. So some of it could be touched yeah. now, or could be the touch. Another thing could be that you don't realize that you've set it to only play for eight minutes rather than yeah. to yeah. be looping, you know, and yeah. sometimes I'm going, wow, you know, I didn't realize I did. I missed that one, you know? So, but if you're consistent, consistently doing that, there could be another problem. And so again, you can call the battery, the same number for the battery, or I should have put for customer support right here. Yes, and, and I posted the, the number for the battery replacement. It's 401-592-8928. And it is on the back of the booklet. So I have customer support. I, uh, you know, I hired that. Uh, you know, God must have been, you know, watching out for me and my husband because we had that all set up before he was in the hospital. So he's been on uh, the he's been working for about a month. So that's your go to. And he's my prototype designer, too. So if you have some information for him, <clears throat> that would be a possibility. <laughs> Excuse me. Lost my voice there. So. Uh, I don't know if there's uh, any other ideas that seemed like. Any other comments or anything? Oh, somebody was asking, is there a folder for PTSD? Uh, it is in the emotions. So there's PTSD and also combat disorder. So, and then anything like depression, any of those, again, they're all gonna be similar. Now those are in alphabetical order, but you can pick through there and see some things that, oh, this is kind of like PTSD and put all of those in a folder together if that is some of your main problems. Uh, Linda, I have a testimony. Perfect. Um, I, um, I, was, I got my watch on a Thursday and I was watching through the, the um, Facebook things and I listened to the brain thing. And um, on Sunday morning, I walked, I watched it on Saturday night. On Sunday morning, I fell flat on my face. I mean, literally face planted, but into the grass. And um, of course, when you fall, you land on your knees. And every other time I've fallen, I have huge bruises on my knees. Um, well, the first thing I did was I ran the concussion one because I wanted to be sure I didn't get a concussion from falling on my face. Uh, but then I ran the bruises for a couple of days and I had no black and blue marks. Now my underneath hurts, but I had no black and blue marks. And I, I really believe it was the wave watch that prevented me from getting all yucky and black and blue. And I didn't even have a black eye from hitting my face with my son. Oh my goodness. And I've been so excited. I wanted to tell you, and this is the first chance I've had to get on a on a um, Zoom call. But I feel like it was. Well, I I I went to church and and you know we prayed for it and everything. But I really believe the Wave Watch prevented me from having any complications from that fall. Oh, I like that. And I thank I actually, you. Accidentally accidentally found bruises <laughs> there you go it was just uh, right up. <laughs> I, I just there, there it was until i found it. right thank you so much you Linda, are welcome this is julie i'm wondering about the osteoporosis uh, any distinction on what is happening when i'm running the osteoporosis like the specificity and then 
should I run anything else? Are there any other ideas to run for osteoporosis? I think that's the only one that's specifically labeled osteoporosis. And of course, it's just trying to make your bones stronger correctly. You know, I mean, we have medications that quote unquote make our bones stronger, but they're more brittle. So uh, I do not have any testimonies on that or any medical, you know, uh, feedback that it might be helping. I do not know on that. That's the only one. So. Okay. I've been running bone regeneration and osteoporosis. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. there you go. But any other ideas elsewhere that would be helpful? For bones, probably it would all just be in that bone folder. That's all that there is. Yep. Okay. Someone asked, does the, the watch get charged to work? Not sure what that question means. Uh, you know, it, it uh, you have a plug-in for it and it's charged that way, but there's no EMFs on it. I do have uh, a Zoom for asthma, um, uh, lungs, that kind of thing. Uh, and it should not hurt you to play it overnight for the asthma, as far as I know. Most of them do not. And does the volume matter when wearing the wave watch? Don't forget that you have a pretty inclusive little chart. You know, sometimes it's hard. People aren't readers. Everybody has a different way. But the third page in the booklet, it shows you that you should set your volume on four to eight. You don't want anybody else to necessarily hear it. You want to be hockey. It's a good way to say it. You want to be greedy. You want your body to get those frequencies so they don't have to blast out or blare out. And my most embarrassing moment with the Wave Watch was because I'm deaf, I went into the bank and I was wearing my Wave Watch. I couldn't hear it. It was set on 12 and I scared the bank tellers to death. They literally looked at me like I had a bomb on my hand. And that's what they said. What have you got? Just like that. And so I have always just worn it on four to eight since then because someone else had to tell me that's the volume that no one else can hear it at, Linda. <laughs> so, so I have to laugh at myself. And uh, then somebody says, is it safe to have your dog sitting next to you when using it? Uh, yes, I even mentioned that you can hold your dog, you know, play anxiety for yourself and you're holding your dog, your dog's gonna be less anxious. I've got several testimonies on that. And I even had one lady that just put the watch on a counter and it was playing loud, a 12 to 16 something so that the dog could hear it and she could hear it. They were both listening to it and the dog settled right down and anxiety went away. So uh, tinnitus, any special ideas for tinnitus? There are a couple of codes for tinnitus. I would play through some of the other ear uh, folders. Uh, tinnitus is a little bit iffy. I'd say I only have a 50% uh, you know, improvement rate on a tinnitus. We're like kidney stones. They're at 99.99999%, you know, so that, that is very helpful. And no, there is not a folder for SIBO, uh, if I'm saying that right. Uh, there is just all kinds of things for um, digestive issues, and that would be the one to play. That might be something that happens in a much, much later date, which I've already explained, Please do not call or, you know, bother my assistant. But yes, we, you can always add more frequencies, you know, so at a later date. All right. I am going to have to kind of uh, jump off of this unless there's anything else. I see we have some people trying to, to get in, but we're kind of ending. <laughs> so don't know what happened there. But uh, thank you for trying to join today. And if you, uh, you know, just got on. This is all recorded on Facebook Live. Any other comments? Thank Just you so curious, much. You keep saying digestive issues. Where are those located? Organs in the organ system. Oh, okay, thank you. Lumped them all together there. You know. It's <laughs> all right, thanks everybody. I should be on next week again. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>